Okay, right. Welcome back, everyone, um, to the latest episode of Curse Breakers. I am your humble, fabulous dungeon master, James, much to the chagrin of Steph, who will be continuing to take these six intrepid adventurers through their journeys across the land of Arovia as they attempt to break the curse upon the land. I missed it. What? what did I do? Ignore my grammar. <laughs> As they attempt to break the curse upon the land. The curse of Strahd. <laughs> Terrible. No, um, before we begin, let's start with the introduction. It's going with Cam. Hi, I'm Cameron. I play Kate Everwood, uh, a smart paladin. Then Jamie. Hello, I'm Jamie. I play the bard of law, Lies Vanan. Thank you. You're more enthusiastic, why don't you? Yeah. Uh, the, the College of Enthusiasm. Uh, so I play Aos, the Human Cleric, Order of Twilight. Then Kirsty. Hello, I'm Kirsty. I play Raven the Rogue. And then Steph. Hi, I'm Steph. I play Porky the Barbarian. And we won't be joined by Tank today because reasons. So, on the last exciting episode of Curse Breakers, the party managed to successfully regroup, fought a bunch of enemies and began to explore the catacombs. Um, they also ran into an accountant at one point who asked them if they needed any taxes done and told them that Strahd has a hidden picture of his mother somewhere, which may be where the party need to go to find the vision of great beauty sort of thing that they're looking for as one of their cards. But we're going to start off... Um, you know what, I'm just going to say, let's have the party roll for initiative and we'll use that to determine what order they open rooms. Mm. So just the party members. And Porky, uh, we have a nat 20. Wow. Do you know what, I think mm. I might just go last, it's fine. <laughs> no, I rolled really low. You might actually be, Jamie. I rolled really low. Nope. <laughs> um, di didn't, uh, didn't Aos give you the advantage on initiative thing? Do one. Yeah. <laughs> Use it on so, actual initiative. We did, we did actually end last session with Kate's door, but we didn't, it didn't get opened. We left it there. Kate get even get added to initiative. Then? Wow. <laughs> it's just like, yeah, you, don't you, worry you about it. Don't worry 0.93. Yeah, just, yeah, just zero where we did end on Kid's door last time. Okay, so we'll start off with Aos's door. Um, so I believe you're probably... Are you going for the one just below you, which is... That's this one? one? Yep. Yeah. Okay, let me get up my little guy and what is in each room or what is on the entrance to each room perhaps more important because it may or may not provide hints that may be or may not be useful we knew him only by his wealth okay mm. likely to be some treasure in here Let's, uh, let's break it open. Okay, you need to give me that strength check. I'll have Bjarkin help me. No, it looks like the one that Kate in front of we did open. Um, is it's marked. I put a circle around it because it, it didn't actually get opened. Ah, right. So yeah, Bjark can help you open the door. The script is empty. Its walls are painted to depict mountains of gold coins. Okay. There you go. All right. Um, mountain of coins. How many coins does it look to be in the hundreds or thousands? Uh, the, while the walls are painted with them, it literally just says mountains of gold coins. So it, I suppose it depends what you determine as a mountain. Wait a minute. This is it. This must be the one. I must tell the others 
We'll come back to this. We don't know where are apart from. I'm surprised they can't hear the sounds of grinding stone. Oh, yeah. It says, About... the thing you seek lies with the dead under mountains of gold coins, so you could very well be right. Yeah, I'm gonna guess I am, and just save that one till everyone is ready. Okay. So mark that in some way for yourself, okay. and then we will move, I'll quickly jump back and we'll do K's one quickly, and then we'll go back. Ah, yes. Reverse turn order, just the way I like it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and then we'll jump back and do it last, so... Uh, You'll get two turns, this thing. So, um, I don't believe I read what was on this door for you. So, <laughs> let's see. This is Catacomb 20. Sasha Ivaloska. Oh, no, wait, you did hear... Yeah, Sa... No, I said Taylor Ivaloska, wife. And you heard, my love, have you come to set me free? And then you had a conversation. So what yeah. would you like to do? Um, divine Sense, first of all. Oh, yeah, there's Undead in there. Undead in there. Mm-hmm. Okay. Just divine sense protects undead celestial. Just central. just casually. Oh yeah, there's undead in there. Pretty yeah. Cool. <laughs> um Yeah. Okay. So I'm oh, I can't but... Can I borrow one of you? Which one? Somebody Oh, in fact, uh Ian, come here. <laughs> Only if you <laughs> give us back. Bop, 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 bop. Uh, yeah, so I'm going to get Ian uh. to smash open the door, and I'm going to hold an attack for if I'm attacked. Okay. Um... Okay, so um, Ian will... Roll a strength check to see if he can open the door. Ian, you suck. Ian punches it the first time, managed to just tilt it a little bit to allow him to grab it and tear it open, revealing a beautiful woman. Well, as beautiful as one of these can be. Um, it let me describe exactly what it says. Um, Webs as thick and pale as linen cover a shapely female form lying atop a marble slab. Sorry, Webs? Yep. I close the door. <laughs> or you get Ian to close the door. <laughs> okay, <laughs> no, continue, sorry. Yeah, a webs as thick and pale as linen cover a shapely female form lying atop a marble slab in the centre of this dusty, web-filled crypt. You hear a voice issue from the darkness once more. My love, have you come to set me free? The woman rises, the shroud of webs clinging to her in a ghastly fashion. It appears to be the only form of clothing she is wearing. Uh, I'm dreadfully sorry. I think I have the wrong room. Comes she up. looks at you for a moment, her eyes seemingly adjusting, perhaps, to the brightness or the darkness. Do you have your sun sword out, by the way? Uh, it would be, yeah, because I was preparing for it uh, if I was attacked. Okay, in which case... Um, she burst into she, the flame. She immediately... I'm going to bring them onto the thing immediately starts to burn from the light and then lets out a howl and charges at you and but although you normally can't hold an attack outside of initiative i'm gonna let you because well outside of combat i'm gonna let you in this case because mm, honestly one vampire i was not gonna last very long well i mean i was prepared for it because i was undead yeah. in there <laughs> uh Okay, so I'll 
Yeah, if she lunges towards me, bam. Yep, that's a hit. Uh, so... Boing. Okay, that's 13 plus 6 is 19. Okay, are you divine smiting at all, or...? How many spell slots have I got? <clears throat> um, yeah, why not? I'll bibbity bob. Okay. Divine smite. And yes, it is undead in this case. I don't know why it's covering that. 3d8, 4d8. Ah. So, 12 more damage. Still standing, so I am going to roll her on for initiative now. And uh, technically, if she's yeah, dark, she type? starts her turn there. Takes again, twenty which... points of radiant damage. Yep, and then she's going to. I'm not actually screw. I'm not going to roll her on to initiative. I'm just going to have her attack you and see what happens. Cool. Twenty three. I have no idea why, but I have the whole rolling one d eight sunblade like literally covering my chat which is great uh, i don't know why that is however does a 23 hit you it does yes okay she's going to try to grapple you which succeeds because that's just how it works and then try to bite you does a 22 hit you? 22 yes yes it does okay so you take 17 damage. Halved. Uh, well, the nine's halved because it's the necrotic that's halved for you, isn't it? No, it's all uh, all damage goes to Ian. Or half damage goes to Ian. And you're resistant to necrotic. Yes. So, so that's reduced to five, which means that you would take 11 damage, which then halved, which then goes to Ian. Um, but I'm going to say that you will I'll take, take the, six. the full. I will say you take the full. Oh, and your H max HP. I'm going to say is reduced by five. Because Ian saw the weird factor in that regard. But I'm going to say that your max HP is affected by half the necrotic. Just saying because I do have temporary hit. Oh, uh, sorry, I do have temporary max hit points. Of bless. Then it would then it would eat through your temporary max hit points first. Nice. Uh, Which I'm then gonna say will now allow you to get a chance to hit back. Uh what sorry, Actually, what was... I'm just gonna have Ian try to hit her. Cool. Sorry, how much that... damage did I take versus how much Ian took? Uh Ian took six, you took six. Okay. I'm gonna say because but uh, it was Yeah, so well. Damn it, Ian. Um, Ian basically just sees her bite into you, just sort of brings that fist up and just squishes them into paste on the floor. Nice. I give Ian a little fist bump, and then he heals yep. back that damage he just took. <laughs> yep. I hate the shield guarding so much. Anyway. <laughs> right, Elias. Yeah? What door would you like to open? I'm gonna do the... the this one okay door number nine i'm guessing the one with the vampire and had nothing in it just the vampire just the vampire okay piddlewick full of dorfnia um i'm, I'm sorry what <laughs> piddlewick full of dorfnia okay i'm just gonna have my thing open it <laughs> Okay, roll those checks. Plus a... Wow, that was a really bad... That was bad. Yeah. Go for a second one. Yep. Slumped. A small skeleton wearing the remains of a false costume lies atop a stumpy marble slab in the center of the crypt. The crypt appears to be four feet long rather than the usual six feet. But other than that, there doesn't appear to be anything else in this room. Does the room look like it should be six feet? It's just the slab that's 
smaller, like the actual, because they're all on like slabs, like uh, of marble where the body rests. And basically, this one appears to be smaller for some reason. That's that's what I mean because it, uh, all the slabs are smaller than the rest of them. Can yeah, I... all of the others when you've been in them are six feet. This is four feet. Can I investigate the room? Sure. I'm like, aren't you supposed to be in that one over there? And I point to this one that was like the jester one. Oh god. Wow, there goes my nat 20. Well, in which case... No, that could actually be positive. Um, so I am going to allow this to trigger now. Well, when well, it could trigger, because... Oh, so, God. as you are looking around, you find... And initially you couldn't see this, and you're not sure... In fact, you're almost certain it wasn't there when you looked for it when you were initially looked but near in the hand of um, the skeleton you see a small flat wooden box <laughs> uh, can I have the, the thing pick it up the yeah words it, it picks it up nothing Anything. happens and chucks it to me. Yeah. Would you like to open the box? I want to check it for traps first. Okay, investigation again. Of course. Hey, it's a palindrome. <laughs> yeah. Um, looking at it, um, there doesn't appear to be any trap that you can see. There's no sigils. There doesn't appear to be anything that would trigger anything. It just appears to be a box. Porky just sees my hand pop around the corner like, I found a toy! <laughs> I'm literally stood around the corner from those two. Would you like to try to open it? Maybe a, a, a jack in a box? Would you like to try to open the box? Y yes. Okay. <laughs> I. It's a toy! <laughs> I would like dexterity saving for us. Oh no! <laughs> oh my god, that got ramped up. Okay, you are perfectly fine. As as you open this box, a small like snake like pops out, but it's not an actual snake. It appears to be a rubber snake. Like when you open one of those like peanut brittles and like the snake. Oh. Like, the little springs. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I did that like on this square as well, so I mean, <laughs> it happened in front of me and Porky. Wow, all <laughs> of that tension is just a... <laughs> no, <laughs> no, this, this like could... Porky has danger zone. She's probably just like, huh. and <laughs> inside, just watches the into the air and then land on the floor. And inside is a deck of cards. Mm -mm. What kind of deck of cards? <laughs> oh, roll me an Arcana check. <laughs> Please be what I think it is. Please be what I think it is. Looking at this, looking at the back of them. Mm, chaos, chaos, chaos. Don't you dare. <laughs> <laughs> no, looking at the back of these, <clears throat> and looking, this appears to be a deck of illusions. The town has been here. I don't actually know what that does technically. It's basically, you can draw a card from it, and um, it will make an illusion of like the of something depending on the card you draw. I will share it to you. Pick a card, Pocky. Pick a card. Any card. Should, I, should I go and get the actual deck? Yes. If you like, if you have the actual deck, but <laughs> I also do have a thing if you for it. Hold on, let me go see if I can find the actual deck. Hold on. Okay. This is legit the, the best thing that Elias can have. It's a toy! And the, um, and well, the... So, Tan's deck is called the Deck of Phantasms. It's like an evolved deck of yeah. illusions. 
which does a lot which, more, and all the creatures which, are a bit different as well. Which I believe Hestalia also had. Uh, you I, had a deck of illusions, I think. You might have had no, a deck of illusions. No, because I put I pull it into crud. All right. Yeah. Then yeah. And I'm pretty sure that evolved it. <laughs> So it does have the same range in power level. Like you can get a rat, or you can get like a demon. So. And whilst we're waiting, would Raven like to look in a door? Uh, I may as well. Um... Okay. What door would you like to look in? You have plenty of options. Mm. My gut says this one. Okay, number three. Let's. So let's see what is on door number three. Lady is sold young, is sold the incredible, purveyor of antiques and imports. Ooh, antiques. Um. Typical. And I will, Absolutely I will typical. Say, I'm going to allow it in this case. You can use a thieves tool chap to try and open this rather than brute strength. Yeah, he hasn't got brute strength. <laughs> yeah. Uh, where's my thieves tool? There we go. I will. Well... <laughs> you can try. You can try again. Uh, I'm not I was going to say. Okay, I'll see. say. I'll say with that. Um, that is enough to open this. Perhaps your innate um, feel for antique has opened this door inside a, you find a skeleton draped in rags lying atop a marble slab in the center of the crypt piled all around it covering the floor are heaps of old baskets braziers bundled tapestries candlesticks chairs chests cooking utensils cressets curtain rods decanters dishes jugs lamps scroll cases tanks and tinker boxes to the initial eye, none of the junk looks valuable. An old chandelier hangs from the dome ceiling. Okay. Uh, I'd like to think that Raven knows a little bit about, you know, antiques. You, you can but, roll me, um, I would say, history check. Okay. How good is his history? His history is not very good. Okay. It's ten. You feel that there is probably some items of value here, but most of them are quite heavy or would need proper assessment in order mm. to be able to um, do anything. So you would say that despite the fact that there might be a few things here that perhaps would be no nice decorating one of your many castles, they don't really look the effort of transporting, but allow you one investigation check on this room okay and apparently you have inspiration oh excellent okay um no, so, so there's elias in the chat so so what which i believe is, that... is a d10 now i believe with a d10 level. okay investigation and add a d10 13 sorry i can't find where i've put it <gasps> okay so what i will do then i will i, not... I haven't lost it Mm -hmm. I've been Whoa. redoing my room, so it, I put it somewhere safe, and I don't remember where that safe place is, unfortunately. Right. Um, I'm okay. going to shuffle the deck for Lucians. Ooh, it's over there. And then, and then you want to... Your porky's <sighs> going to draw a card from this. Mm. Am I? Well, you are asked to draw a card. Oh, was I? Was I? Pick yeah. a card. Any card. Um, how many? I can't remember how many are in it. There are 34, but I've got a thing for it, so you can draw one. Yeah. So I will deal one card to Porky, and then hopefully that will allow you to draw it or oh. play it. Do I just click that? I think so. <laughs> Did it work? What the heck is that? Steel card. What is that? Came out of the token. <laughs> so confused. What is it? Is it? Did it? Oh, what's that? Oh, oh. God. Oh, there we go. Night hag. Yes, that is a night hag. 
Why is it so huge? Who the Big hell turn. knows? Yeah. What number was that? <laughs> no idea. Um, I, I went on it and it was there. At the Queen of, the Queen of Diamonds. Yeah, I I wave my hands about as she picks a card and go. Woof. Yeah. Okay. I'm gonna. And then it appears. I need to um, do my thing. Hold on. Back of the room. <laughs> Just. Okay. She yeah. she knows she 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 gets it. Hey, hey, I was gonna say if, if she got less than ten, she'd probably attack it. Hey, are you actually playing this, Chris? <laughs> I was gonna say, isn't this don't no. starve? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Mm, no, I don't want to want my first time just trying to plan my table for something. Pocky is smart. Smart. Called playing with toys in the middle of a dungeon theme. Yes. <laughs> Did you expect yeah. anything less? Between Elias and Pocky. <laughs> Okay, roll. <laughs> we are both morons. <laughs> we went, should we do something Rain. reckless? And roll then do something reckless. Alright, roll a d10. Roll d10. Two. Okay, interesting. Now I need to remember what this item actually the hell is. Okay, you have found something which may potentially. I don't know how this will... You have found an ersatz eye. This artificial eye replaces a real one that was lost or removed. While it is embedded in your eye socket, it can't be removed by anyone other than you, and you can see through it as if it were a normal eye. Hell weird. <laughs> yeah. Aww. Okay, I'm going to pocket that and offer it to Hell Wait, Whip, why, of course why I know he's not here. not on my initiative order anymore? Get on my initiative order, you should have been first. Either way, I'm... Uh, I'll have you go after Cade, just to ease. So Cade, you can go again, because I skipped you initially. Cool, uh, I will move over to Pistol. Okay, number 18. Let me see what you find. I'm sure we have seen it in here. Not in my life. In my room. Hmm. The stone door of this crypt has carefully been laid to one side. Through the swirly mist of the perpetual fog, freshly engraved letters spell out the words Irina Koyana, wife. Irina? <gasps> swept clean. This is where Strahd. You would guess intend to keep Irina once he turned her into the vampire spawn. <gasps> oh, first of all, before I continue on, did I find anything in spooky bitches? No, you did not. Okay. Uh, Just a spooky bitch. Sweet. Uh, I will try and open the door. Actually, just before I do that, um, roll me um, a d100. 78. So many hit points you lose. Maximum. Sorry, I'm still alive. You know what? I, I find that this could be quite interesting. <laughs> Upon the destruction of this woman, as the silk can webs seem to form into black silk with faint silvery threads. It appears to be a cloak of some kind. Ooh, the cloak of many spooks. Uh, I'll pick it up. Yeah. You can roll an arcana check if you wish. Sure thing. Turns into spiders. In natural hand. 20! Sorry, With natural nat 19! 20. <laughs> nat 20, which was what I was going to say you would need in order to know this. But this is perhaps an item that does not fit Kate in the slightest, but I thought it would be interesting and sort of made sense. I just decided to pull it in at the last moment. This is a cloak of arachnida. Nice. Whilst attuned to it, you have resistance mm. to damage. 
you have a climbing speed equal to your walking speed. You can basically have spider climb permanently. You can't be caught in webs of any sort. You can move through webs as if they were difficult terrain. And you can use an action to cast the web spell once per day. Cloak of many spiders! Spider cloak! <laughs> spider cloak! That should um, do what a spider cloak does. I'm not gonna lie, I think this actually might be perfect for Raven, just because those stealth checks on yep. the ceiling. Yep, so there is the details of it. Hopefully it showed it properly. How, uh, how many items are you attuned to? Raven. Raven. You... <laughs> Sorry, I was looking at textbooks. Um, it's okay. Um... I believe I am attuned to three. Yeah, I'm, I don't know actually. I'm trying to remember what I'm attuned to. Um, because the thunder tongue isn't an attunement, is it? No, no, it no. is not. Oh no, wait, yes, yes, it is. Yeah, I thought it was. Sorry, because a flame tongue is her thunder tongue would be. Uh, if that's the case, I think that's the only thing I'm attuned to. Uh, crown of Madness? Oh yeah, my crown thingy, my changing crown thingy. And I forgot I was wearing a crown. <laughs> I think there was there was something which else. I, because... Which I believe was like a hat of disguise. Which yeah, is so bronze a, crown, a yeah. Item. So I've got to... Let's have a look at our... Uh, cloak of Many Fashions? I... If... R Ring of Warmth. <laughs> Ring of Warmth. Cloak of Many Fashions isn't. Um, okay. I always of... forget I've got that thing on. Because <laughs> yeah. he's got an entire... Water He's got a bag. Exactly. Um, um, so possibly only two because, of course, um, I haven't got the tentacle rod because. Yeah. Elias is that now. I don't. Uh, Hell with us. So I have Casimir's ring, but I can't remember if that was the ring of warmth or not. Yes, that is a ring yeah. of warmth, which would be a two. So I have sure. got three. I have yeah. got three. Yes. Shows I need to look at my equipment a bit more. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Do you reckon you benefit okay. from from this one more than any of the others? What is it you've got again? Sorry. A cloak of Arachnida. So, uh, okay. did you get the it the pop up? Uh, it basically does make you spice out there, apart from swinging from places to place. Uh, if it, it it makes my whole dark gift moot. The only it's thing that of, I mean okay. that could be incredibly handy considering his skill set, the climbing stuff. I was just thinking Raven sticking to a ceiling, pewing boat, <laughs> pewing arrows. Yeah. At <laughs> Plus, it probably looks dang fancy. So. <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> but could he? Can he actually wear two cloaks at once? Yes, um, it's yeah. Raven, of course. And <laughs> of course he will he make can. it stylish. <laughs> he will make it work. There's ways of doing it. Come I'm on. sure if um, he'll probably kind of think, well, you're not going to have it, eyeing it up, like feeling the fabric, <laughs> like <laughs> it, it, it is almost a walking fine... away with it already. <laughs> it's like a fine <laughs> silk, like spider webs, almost. We'll call it a wedding gift. Thank you. <laughs> and now, as I'm going, Porky's turn. Hang on, no, I didn't door. kick my door. Oh down. no, you didn't get it. <laughs> no, that, that one was that one was already open. Oh, and there was one. just Miss and the name Irina in it. It uh... looks like it seems to be where Irina was meant to be entombed once she was turned into a vampire. Cheated me of a door. Okay, that's fine. I didn't cheat you of the door. I described that before I rolled for the cloak. Okay. <laughs> so it's Porky's turn. 
Okay. Um, I imagine it's a case of obviously uh, Elias has opened his thing, the, the snakes have gone out. She's kind of looking at it on the floor and she goes, right, and kind of walks away to the next nearest door. <laughs> yeah. Um, so I'm going to go for this one. Okay, number four. Prince Ariel Duplumet, Ariel the Heavy. It's fine, Porky can't read. <laughs> yep. So she just probably makes up a name and is going like, yeah. I'm the word there. cat probably looks that long to Porky. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Um, Roll yeah. that athletic check. Um, or strength, or whatever. Athletic 18. Yep, you easily open this. Hello. The apparition of a large, rotund man formed within the dark crypt, his eyes wild with insanity. Large artificial wings unfold from its back. Wow. And will immediately try to attack you. Oh. With a very particular thing which we have not seen. For a while, I would like a charisma saving throw from Porky. Oh. 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 Okay, you're fine. It reaches into you and almost goes through you, trying to possess you. Mm. Slaps it two you, feet. You, you, you've, <laughs> dealt with, you, you've dealt with this before because Porky's been possessed before. Mm. So you know what this is like, but. It then, having failed, it then disappears. <laughs> yeah, you better run. <laughs> um, I assume that's the only thing that was in there. Yes. Let me check, see if there's anything else you notice. I was going to comment about how majestically rotund this thing was, and then he tried to possess me, and I'm just like, bitch, no. Just go away. All that's happening, I'm just slowly putting the snake back into the box. And yeah, tying it nearly, up. There is nothing <laughs> else in this room. We nearly had to fight a porky. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> right. Aren't you glad she's charisma, not intelligence for a change? Yeah, yeah, <laughs> Would have had to make okay. big. Um, do I hear anything coming from this uh, cell as I walk past it? Number 32. No, but it has no name or epitaph on it. This this one here, I mean. Oh, that one. Uh, yeah, the one that my spirit guardians is blending through. Apparently, according to what I read, spirit guardians doesn't go through walls. Huh. Because if something's behind total cover, spirit guardians does block it. The spirit's there. I know, but it's oh. because it's an area of effect. You can draw a line to them, and it's blocked. Apparently, that's how it works. All right, let's open the one oh. that has no name on it. Uh, it doesn't matter. Oh. That crypt is missing its door. The one that oh, was. So I can draw a line to them. <laughs> yep. So let me reveal what is inside here. The three giant wolf spiders. Oh, I am so... very But I'm going to say that technically they do start their turn in there, so roll me some spirit cards and damage, and we'll see if they even survive. Yeah, he's still at fourth level. Yeah. So... Hmm. Wow. Success. Fail. So two of them are instantly obliterated. <laughs> cool. Third one takes half of 15, which should be 8, and is still standing, and then it's going to crawl at you. Oh no. Crawl. Turn around, see this dilapidated spider crawling to me, and I'm like, I just look at it. I don't even draw yeah. a weapon. 
I just have my shield and I'm just standing, waiting. Turn around. <laughs> I see it clawing at my legs and I'm just like, what are you doing? <laughs> and, then it, and then its turn comes around and it dies. <laughs> anyway, Bjarkin, do you want to open that door though? <laughs> Silly <laughs> uh, uh, spiders. Right. Uh, the one just below you, number three. <laughs> okay, there is nothing written on this. Um, just see that thing unmade. Um, Right, um, so the door to this crypt has no name or epitaph on it. Would you like so you're asking the Arkham to open it? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'll assist him. <laughs> the Arkham, you suck. The Arkham, you suck. The Arkham <laughs> took three. But you got a crap. You're getting rusty, I think. Must have been. All that ice that kind of melted yeah, around you. It, right, and then it said, This crypt is empty except for two alcoves in the back wall. Above the alcoves are carved the following words Pass not these portals, ye foolish mortals. There's no portals in here. I nope. think. Do you see anything, Bjarkin? <laughs> he walks in. <laughs> he walks in. He, he, yeah, he walks in. Does there are two alcoves? Does he walk into either of the alcoves? You're no fool, are you, Bjarkin? Because of it, can a portal fit inside that alcove? It's very mm -hmm. small. Um, what do what do portals even usually look like? Do they? Can they be he, on the? S he has a. Uh, uh, I'm just gonna say that his detect magic will still be up from earlier. Just freeze. I can see conjuration mag. I can see conjuration magic between the alcoves. Mm. Okay. I suspect that these will take you somewhere dangerous. Okay. Oh, okay. Tell you what, Kazimir. Um, actually, no, that's a bad idea. You still have the Staff of Frost, though, don't you? I thought you could make strange little um, creatures with that, couldn't you? Can you? Yeah. Or something like that. Let me find out. It's... you can... Cone of Cold, Fog Cloud, Ice Storm, Wall of Ice. No, okay, never mind. Alright. I'm thinking of another one. Yeah, possibly. Alright, never mind. We'll leave that one for now. Okay. And actually, after I've looked at this one, I'll head back the way I came. Oh, yeah. But that'll be me. Okay, let's bring it round to Elias. Uh, uh, <laughs> I'm just having a bit of fun on cam. <laughs> I'm gonna go to this uh, no, uh, no, I didn't mean to do that. So this kind of one here. Bruh, bruh. Oh, hi, Raven. Okay. Artista de Slop, court ceiling painter. I think we've got past the point of reading now. I'm enjoying the names. <laughs> There's like a... Artista de Slop. Uh, yeah, they're all character names. I got... Oh, we... We get to the point of Artista de, and then he just goes and the head butts it open. my furniture yesterday. <laughs> right. Um, after the second you open it, the dome ceiling of this crypt is painted an image of imps holding bouquets of colourful flowers. A skeleton draped in rags lies atop a marble slab in the centre of the crypt. A wooden box is tucked under one bony hand. More boxes! <laughs> you got... He goes in and grabs it, the uh, 
the fan. Okay. Grab it. Yeah. Check there it. There is a strong smell of lead. Paint! He's going to go in and he's going to grab the box and whatever else necessary. That's all that's in there, really, is the box. Is it like one of those artist robes where it's just white apart from paint splodges? Pretty much, yeah. Okay, he grabs the box. Yep. Would you like to open the box? You open the box. <laughs> and the <laughs> thing opens the box. It contains seven wood-handed paintbrushes and seven small gourds of dried up paint. And you can roll me a D100. Oh! Oh. Oh, oh. Is this what I think it is? 92. Right. Um, I am going to say, even though this pen appears in here, um, one of these appears to contain a small amount of pigment. And this is indeed a... I would say it is a pot of marvellous pigment, but rather than having a thousand square feet worth, I'm going to say that it only has a hundred square feet worth, so it's a tenth of what it normally would, but that's still quite a lot. So, how long would it take to draw a missing piece in, in Strad's neck? It's like all the way across, do you think? Not Just <laughs> insta-kill Painted decapitation. <laughs> I'm pretty sure that I'm pretty sure that doesn't work. <laughs> just Strad, just stay there a sec. Just <laughs> <laughs> right. Um... <laughs> okay, R Raven. Sounded like you forgot my name for a moment. <laughs> no, it was <laughs> Raven. <laughs> yeah, I'm going Raven Man. <laughs> Uh, okay, I guess I'll go to this one then. Number five. Mama. Our, our tank Swillovich, friend and member of the Barovian Wine Descent Guild. Ooh! <laughs> I find the antiques and the wine! <laughs> <laughs> yep. Raven's having a field day. Oh, yeah. Uh, mm, that's quite tempting if there's potentially some nice vintage in here. <laughs> Watch out for black puddings. Um, hmm. I think I will be getting my thieves tools out. He just sees okay. the word wine and ching. <laughs> Ooh, 21, better this time. It's wine. He's just like, yes! <laughs> Own it. <laughs> Apparently, I don't own that book, but I think Chris does. Which I think oh, it's, I, I think it's Tomb of Annihilation that the particular thing I was looking at is in. Right, so um, you are uh, you are greeted by the faint smell of wine. A skeleton draped in rags lies top a marble slab in the center of the crypt. Feet around it, covering the entire floor, are thousands of empty wine bottles. Oh. <laughs> but I will allow you to roll me an investigation check. You know, like, it gets the wharf, and then he sees they're all empty. And oh, <laughs> someone got here before me. 16. Okay, now roll me a d6. Okay, you find a bottle of Red Dragon Crush that hasn't been fully drained, which is the second best of the wines. Not bad, not bad. Hmm. Pocket that, stuffs it in with all the clothes. <laughs> yep. Actually, as you, as you pick it up and look at it, roll me a perception check. Uh -uh. Not very perceptive today. No, is you don't notice anything. Okay. Uh, 
Okay, bringing it round to Kay's turn. Maybe I got wine. Ooh. Wait, no, I have I have wine too. No. Red, yeah. red wine. All right, you want to open that one? The 21. Yeah. Evangeline Velikovna Bride. Okay. I tried to open it. Kate's finding all the ladies. <laughs> oh, actually, Petrina Velikovna. This is actually a very important one that I cannot change the name of. More women that don't want kids. <laughs> Right, you're gonna try to open it, then I need that strength check. <laughs> Dating with Cade. <laughs> literally playing blind date. Yeah, I was gonna say, it's literally blind date. <laughs> we're, we're still yeah, you're like, we're still the black. My divine <laughs> sense can search for undead, but not a woman that loves me. <laughs> What am I doing again? Sorry. <laughs> Straight <laughs> check. Right. If you want to open the door. Bam. Oh my god. Yeah. A woman. <laughs> Revealing this. Oh, From wait. the dark just comes a horrifying visage, a spectral elf maiden, twisted by the horror of her undead existence. She wails and the very sound draws at your soul. It's okay. <gasps> I'm used to it. <laughs> I need a wisdom. Save it. No, actually. I'm immune I, to fear if that's what you're thinking. I need a constitution saving throw. Oh no. Please pass. Yeah, I'm good at cons. Plus three, two. Who am I playing? <laughs> two. Plus two. So. Chris's face is just like. Oh, oh, no. oh, 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 you are so lucky. <laughs> you just really got one shot, boy. Yeah. yeah that that almost one shot you. If you'd rolled one less, that would have one shot you. What? Banshees are, Banshees are insta kills. Banshees, bro. On a failure, a creature drops to zero hit points. Oh, boy. Okay. That's cool. why I was making uh, that fight. Well, remember it. How do you two take 11 psychic damage? No, I don't. I take five or six, depending on how you see it. Six. Six, cool. Good lord. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> you you probably just hear this like cacophonous scream and then Kane just seconds after is like yeah I know <laughs> Do I, I, I like to imagine Aeop yeah. hears this yeah I can definitely hear it now yeah, yeah. and uh, have we got an initiative order yeah, I'm now rolling it onto initiative okay. this is a uh, so but with that, I'm a smack a bee. You are already on initiative on zero. Oh. <laughs> We're keeping the initiative. So technically... What? Uh... But I rolled the 15 against it. <laughs> I know, but you are already on the initiative. It's just rolled on. And I'm going to roll something else. There's a around the front of it. Yeah. And it does say, I will say because I know surprise rounds are a weird thing. It does say in the rules that it attacks immediately as soon as the door is open. That is what the cool thing yeah, says. Yeah, no, that's fair enough. You, you basically caught it while it was showering. Well, I mean, <laughs> wouldn't that technically be the attack? No, because that was the surprise round on you. And but how can I be surprised if I'm prepared to fight? Because, were you? Well, we're opening you know these doors that we've been side? attacked. You didn't in that case. You did not say that you were prepared okay. for that one. You, you said you must the door. door. And saying you're prepared doesn't make you prepared, right? I've got my shield out, ready for anything. But if Actually, I don't know an enemy hiding there... Thinking about that... Does... I'm guessing that doesn't work on... Beyond. Really, I guess, if you want to... Rule it. It depends if they roll a stealth check and beat the passive perception of Cade. But... I would like I'm to cut in words. I'm just seeing if anyone else yeah. is in range. Is it 30 no. feet or 60? 
fair two for that, unfortunately. Would the construct have to make a constitution? No, it's immune to it. It doesn't affect construct. It has no soul to rip out. Hey, don't be like that to Ian. Oh, actually. No, she doesn't actually manage to do that effect. She doesn't even trigger it. Because she can't, it actually says, release the normal spell, provided that she isn't in sunlight. <laughs> Get fucked. Well, I guess if the door's opening. As yeah, the door's I opening. As the door's opening, but. Um, but it, I smashed the door. I got a natural 20. I'm surprised I didn't punch through her soul. That's just that to open. I'm just doing this. I don't yeah. mean the speed of which you opened it. Well, no, technically I smashed the door down, but. You'd have a broken wrist if you tried to actually punch through concrete. No, but that's the whole reason why we're doing this. We're knocking down the door. Don't mind me, I'm just adding something onto the initiative order for later. Well, it's up to you. I either passed it or she didn't do it, so... You passed it, I'll say. And I'll say that was the reason you passed it, like she did the yell and the sunlight helped block it. Right, we're back to Porky's turn. Everyone has heard this unearthly yell that is, even from a distance, seems to chill your souls a little bit, but not. I mean, I'm pretty far away. I'm just kind of like, are you yeah. all right? Yeah. Do <laughs> you need rescuing? No, um, it's just another yeah. woman screaming at me. <laughs> whoever, okay. is, whoever is controlling Casimir, because I can't remember who I gave that to, roll me an intelligence check for them. It was, um, it was Jamie, but I've got it. Yeah. Oh, yeah, sorry. Casimir, Kaz rather than being shocked at the sound of his voice, listens to it and then just sort of says, Katrina? That was Jeez. his sister. No way. <gasps> okay. So what's Porky yeah. doing? Um. Right, is Porky just gonna keep kicking down doors? You've got a couple more before you could move, kick um, down a door, and then. I kind of I, I feel like I need to roll an insight <clears throat> on whether or not Kate actually needs help. Yeah, roll me an insight. Uh, or just roll me straight intelligence, why not? Let's see how smart Fork is. Well, but, but my insight is higher. Uh, you don't need to roll insight. There's no fear in Cade's voice. Yeah, that but that's true. not what she means. She means she, she's wondering if he needs help, not if he's afraid. He sounds determined. Okay, okay. Um, in which case, uh, if you die, it's your own head. I'm gonna move here. It's not my head, I'm just not afraid. <laughs> As in, literally. Um, where is it? Yeah. Um, I'm literally I've not rolled afraid. <laughs> yeah. Say again. What was that, Cam? I spoke over you a little. Okay, nothing important. I'm porky, you're just gonna. Okay, you're going for number 11. What's behind, or would you like me to read the name still? Yeah, just because I want to know what it is. <laughs> okay. Ah. Evangeline Petrovna, healer of kings, light onto the west, servant companion. I'm open it. Okay. Okay. Roll me that athletics check. Alright. Seventeen. A skeleton wearing tattered priestly vestments lies atop a marble slab in the in center, the center of, of the room. <laughs> the dome the dome ceiling overhead is painted with a glorious sun moon. Draped around the neck of the skeleton is a sun-shaped holy symbol. Ooh. 
I'm not about to go and steal holy symbols off a dead and body. Like, I, I will it. say that this room appears to radiate with a strange light, and you feel a strange pull towards the symbol. Not necessarily like, to take it, but to touch it. The 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 light it's radiating. Does it feel similar to like what Cade and Aos emit? Yes, it has that sort of feeling to it. It more than a light of sunlight. It feels almost like a light of holiness, if anything. Okay. Um, if I have the urge to go and like poke at this thing, then I'm gonna sort of move forwards. Okay. Nothing happens. Do you touch it? Does it seem dangerous? It's an, like her intelligence no. is over 10. I'm just, okay, no, she's, gonna, will... she's, she's gonna give it a poke then. Okay. You hear a ghostly female voice in your head. There is a grave to the west with roses that never die in a place built by healers in a village called Crest. When all turns to darkness, touch this holy symbol to the grave to summon the light and find a treasure long lost. God. Does that then permission to take this? Yes. <laughs> Alrighty. Wow. I take it. Tell very much. I'm gonna head out. <laughs> Didn't that Sorry. sound a lot like the place we've already been? No, this is in Cresc, which is where you met the abbot. Yeah. Specifically. Like, sorry guys, we gotta leave Strad for now. Gonna go touch a holy symbol. I will say that is going. <laughs> I will say, Port, can you feel innately like doing so would give you something very good? Like you feel a desire to go do it, okay. but yeah. All right. Well, like obviously, if this if this person was wearing this holy symbol, yeah. I'm gonna like stick it around my own neck or whatever. Yeah. Just kind of tuck yeah. it into the poncho. So you, you feel like something is missing, like you are holy. <laughs> Perhaps. I like that. That is a pun I will appreciate. Aos. What the hell was that? That wasn't your sister. That was a scream of something. Yes, but... Something unholy. Yes, but if my sister is here, she has likely been transformed like those women we saw before. That is why I've come. I have come to rescue her. That is why I've given up my body, why I look like this. Well, then we should better her. hurry then. Yes. And I'm going to dash up to where I heard the scream. Find yes. Cade and Ian. And whilst this is a twisted visage of a body, it is clearly a dusk elf. Oh, yeah. hi. What the hell happened? What is that thing? Your... That's Kazimir's sister. What? Is it? At least it used to be. Kazimir, she's here. If you wish to save her, now's your only chance. Yeah. Oh my God. I think. Right. Emil, hearing this, decides to wait with his spear ready to throw, I'm gonna say, in case it turns to combat. And now. Raven, you put that um, bottle in your clothes, correct? Yep. Okay, and that's in a bag, correct? Yep. Okay, your bag tears open. Oh no, my clothes! As your clothes are stained in wine. Oh no! Well, most of it is black might be able to salvage that. Damn it. Why, why, why is this creature? If anything, like it just gives it rich. And... How, well, how many pieces of clothing has he got? I mean, let's put it this way. You'd be able to disguise yourself as an alcoholic very easily. I'm just doing something because for some reason <laughs> the monster hasn't worked properly. It says the one with a filling I mean, the of speed would be in there too. Alcohol. I can handle my alcohol. Did you say boots of speed? By I, I mean 40. Boots of speed? 
Yeah, I've got a set of boots of speed I was given by someone. I can't remember who, Okay, though. you need to keep hold of those. I haven't worn them because, of course, he's got his um, knife shoes, but I'm sure, like, Hellweir or someone gave them. You're going to meet a... Is so important. You're going to meet a very enthusiastic tabaxi monk in the future who would adore <laughs> those shoes. He wants to attach some hooves to them. Exactly. Because then it will be the boots of hooves of speed. <laughs> you tear a hole in the material your, plane. Your, your bag both first open, revealing a strange serpentine creature made entirely of wine. Oh, I see what you're saying. Yes, yeah. I just didn't have the actual thing, so I'm using a different creature. I do not have the wine weird. No. What? I made those tokens, by the way. <laughs> not in Tolux. Civilization. I legit made them. Apparently the, apparently the monster exists in there. Though. It does exist, but I had to make the token because it was just a round thing yeah. called wine weird. Yeah, I hate when that goes there. And it's going to try to slam into you twice. God, it's a I'll physical give it a manifestation of a hangover. <laughs> I'll give it advantage on the first one. Does a 17 hit you? Uh, it does not. He's an 18 like right this. now. Say hello to your migraine! <laughs> you yeah. look in the chat, it'll look like something like this. Wow, it misses with the second one as well. But one oh. thing you notice is that in... As it tries to hit you, you notice there appears to be something flowing in the wine. And it makes an audible whine. I don't know why, but I have a feeling that Raven would actually find this thing kind of kind of adorable. <laughs> I don't know why, but... Oh, look at you trying so hard. <laughs> right, Bjarken is gonna... Bjarken isn't quite sure what to do because obviously like with how I why do I not seemingly have control? Why can't I click the arc? What? Why can't I click any tokens? What? Okay, I'm just gonna have to refresh because roll twenty is being roll twenty. gonna let me click on my own tokens now? No. Thank no. you. Right, Bianca, not sure, as you've charged up there, will just um, continue to open doors. Sure. Because why not? Oh, Bianca will not read the door because Bianca can't read doors. Because Bjarkin cannot read, he is a very smart person, mm. but not the smart can, can we at least have the name? Hey. I don't have to read the description, but I want the name. <laughs> okay, I, I'll even give you the description, because they are kind of fun, mostly. Yeah, really that's, that's the only reason I want to know. <laughs> this is the whole session. Are you making a collection I, of these? At, actually, no, this one is worth it. I will read this one out. So clutched for Polotsky. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry, what? Fell on his own sword? So Clutch Tripolotsky, he fell on his own sword. <laughs> Can we <he> trip a lot? <laughs> yep. Oh no. <laughs> yep, he is oh. a That's so good! <laughs> <laughs> oh, I love it. I really, like, really hope these were real characters at some point and that's how he died. <laughs> I, I could imagine that that Biakon would be like, Frog? Which translates to it's kid in here. <laughs> <laughs> oh, right, so Casimir is going to. Uh, I will control Casimir for this. <laughs> I really like that one. <laughs> yeah, that's the best one. It is the best one so far. <laughs> Two, three, four, five, six. He's then going to bonus. Ah, but if he does that, then he won't be able to use the action. He's going to bonus action Misty Step in order to get there. And stare at the figure for a moment. Now I have to read how this interaction goes because. And oh my god, there's so much on the map here. It's room 21.
does the opposite and banishes her to the Shadow Realm. Okay. Sister, I... I am here. I have brought the power which will bring you back. Oh my! Thank you very much! Stares at you for a moment. <laughs> um, but... Then Casimir looks for a moment and then looks at the thing. It's just like... And because I said, yeah, detect magic still up, I'm going to say it's still up. He goes... Um, actually, let's roll an arcana check. Get Eos, destroy this banshee. The spirit cannot rest. It is trapped. If I can, if we can defeat it, then I can then bring the body back into the thing. So, and then he's right. just going to firebolt the ghost and miss. As long as you're sure. Yes, I am fairly certain. If not, I will um, probably throw myself back down the hole and miss with the rakes. Uh, Lias. I'm gonna, gonna... <sighs> Kid is screaming again. I'm just gonna ignore it and... and... <sighs> that wasn't... <laughs> I was oh, pretending it was. So I kind of like it's no sort of relationship. So I don't mind that at all. Whatever it is, it's probably undead. And Kid is like the master of killing undead. Yeah. Or spiders. One or the other. Uh, uh I wanna go to this door here. But yeah, I don't think I can. You're not going to be able to. Brute, brute. You get, even if you dash. And, actually, oh, with the broom. Brute. With the broom, you could dash to get there. Cool. I get to the. Okay. I'll break this. Before you do anything. You won't right. be able to, obviously, do anything else other than oh. uh, dash to get there. But let me just check something with that one. I, there is something special with this one. I tail whip into my guardian and he goes falling head over heels, headbutting the door open. Oops. Okay, I'm going to say as your thing lands on this floor. Um I need you to. Okay, so um, I'm gonna say just for the hell of it, because of the positioning, these are all going for you. There's a what? What? Who do any of those hit you? Hit me or hit the you? Me. Um. Uh, 15, yeah, 26, no, 21, no, um, no, the 26 and the 21 hit. Okay, um, so let's roll the damage. Okay, so you, take, you take two damage, and I need, uh, two con saves. Uh, oh, what? Two con saves. Mm-hmm. Okay. One, three. Okay, the first one you've passed. Second wow. one you've passed. Wow. Wow. Okay, so you take half of 17, which is 9, and half of 6, which is 3, so you take 12 poison damage plus the 2 damage as 2 poisonous Ooh. darts hit you out of 4. Ooh. Which was triggered by your thing landing on the floor. I'm not going to allow it to open the door this turn, but I will read what the door is. Saint Markovia, dead for all time. Markovia sounds very familiar. Such as the Abbey of Saint Markovia. Isn't he the one with the bones that we put in the, the church? No, that was Saint Andrew. 
Mm. She also in the sand to me. Holy things. Right, Raven, you have a wine weird with something odd in it attacking you. I don't want to attack it back. I'd want to befriend this thing. Raven wants it for a pet. Yeah. Um. Your spirit animal. <laughs> Ooh. Well, actually, your spirit animal is a literal raven, but. Yeah. Uh... Spirit elemental. He's just gonna. I, I. I. I don't even know if this thing can understand it, but he's like, tell you what, I have a big, big wine cellar. You can live there if you want, if you be nice. Roll me. He does. He has a massive wine cellar. <laughs> Yeah. Yes. Uh, elemental handling. Actually, yeah. technically, considering what Amber up and Pod did, we don't know how much wine is left in that. That's cellar. true, but he doesn't yeah. know that. Yeah. <laughs> roll, me, roll me an animal handling check at disadvantage. Ooh, ooh. It, ju it just looks at you and. You see those things move around inside of it, and it almost seems to be like somehow they seem to be moving in such a way that they're giving the impression of it giving you the middle finger. Oh. I like this thing even more now. <laughs> <laughs> Porky, can we keep it, please? And that will be your turn, unless you want to move or do a bonus action. No, no. Okay, bringing it round to the Banshee's turn. Let's roll a d6. Doesn't get it back. How unfortunate. No, roll a wisdom save. I'm immune to source damage. <laughs> no. Immune to radiant. <laughs> Imagine. <Gee. laughs> Imagine. I don't think there's anything in the Monster Manual that's immune to radiant. It is immune to a hell of a lot, though, and resistant to a hell of a lot. I'm going to find out now. Um, I'd like to. It's cheating. So I'm gonna find out what's immune to radiant damage. Oh. Um, I think resistant. Angels? To... Probably angels, yeah. Or anything it, celestial. It fails, no, it so it takes 8 damage. You rolled really poorly that time. And then it is going to make. Well, technically, it can't affect. Uh, you. Oh God, character names just went for me for a moment. Um, okay. Okay. Yeah. But it can affect the other three, including um, the Arkham. Sure. It? And it can also affect Emil and Davian gonna say it can't quite affect Esmeralda and I would like all of you to make a wisdom saving throw. I'll get to the PCs. Uh, plus two AS. And I believe don't you get an additional bonus. Oh additional yeah. Side by side. I just take Ooh. her hand. <laughs> okay, so Dabian fails. I don't know why I rolled Twice for Dabby, but I don't think Emil has much better of a bonus. Emil does not have much better of a bonus, so Emil and Davian both fail. Oh, um, we get another plus one. And, and, and Ian also fails. Has to roll for this, sorry. I don't think, I think he's immune to frighten. Is he immune to frighten? Oh, yeah. Oh, if this is frightened, then uh, myself. Uh, Casimir and Aos are oh, yeah, immune anyway. Because um, they're in your aura, so they can't be mm -hmm. affected. I forgot that you're given aura of heroism, isn't it? Yeah. Um, uh, aura of courage. Aura of courage, whichever one. Um, okay, so. So I'm going to mark these two NPCs with uh, Brighton mm -hmm. Simple because they are terrified. Um, and then this 
N B C can go two, three, four, five, six, and I think your move is increasing in well form. No, it's only in wolf form. So ben, get ben. there. And I'm gonna say throws its spear, even though I shouldn't be able to use its spear, but I'm gonna let it use its spear. Throws a spear at the banshee. It's a solid hit. But I believe the banshee is resistant, so it can only take half the damage. Bring it round to this thing's turn. Another invisible creature. And let's. <laughs> <laughs> Someone's getting into the music. <laughs> no. To be fair, I can't even hear the music. I'm just watching everyone wiggle around. So I'm just like, ah, to hell with it. <laughs> yeah. A big fat ghost reappears. The wiggling in time. And I need Raven, um, Corky, and Elias to make me. Wisdom saving throws. No! no! <laughs> Are you kidding me? <laughs> <laughs> Another one. That's not too bad. Although, okay, you actually. Oh, I really want this to hit Elias, but he failed. He succeeds. I wanted you to fail because it actually ages you, and I wanted that to happen to another character. No, that's happened to one of my characters before. Not again. Oh, no. oh, You'll be used to it. No. You, won't, you won't have the much trauma. Uh, you, you are all fine. You managed to make the save, and now you're immune to its effect. Cade. He's not being a silver fox yet. I'm a smog. Yep. Smoink this. Smoink the mighty smoider. Smoink. Bet. 14? That's a hit. Also, I just realized something. When I attacked last time, I didn't do two attacks, but... No, no, you did not. Uh, so, I'm a smonk. For a lot of damage. Yep, that hits like a truck. Would you like to do your second attack? Yep. Or would you like to... 26. And that one I'm going to divine smoke. At second level... Um, boink. Okay, so your divine smite pretty much obliterates it. In <laughs> fact, you practically obliterated it before you added the divine smite. Oh. With the divine smite, you have hit this thing so hard that it just sort of looks at you for a moment and just goes, but, but why? <laughs> and then dies. Does it? Because technically, uh, the, do I use my divine smoke? Because that would yes. come after. Me. Okay, cool. It needed two more HP after you did. After no. You did that. <laughs> <Got> that. <laughs> oh. oh. Wait, actually, no. Because no. Wait. Yes. Yes, it would. Yep. You wouldn't okay. need divine smite. So oh, yeah. Was and... it a non-lethal smite? Uh, no, no. <laughs> I think it's safe to say no. As soon as Casimir says, yes, destroy it, I'm like, oh, really? Okay. <laughs> Hellwear just comes in at the last moment. It's just like, oh, okay. What was that voice? Okay. <laughs> I don't know. I can't do tanks voice. Um... <laughs> And Fuck. that is where the combat, for you guys at least, is over because obviously you've dealt with that. But the others, uh, Porky, I'm going to come round to you because these lot aren't aware of what you're seeing up there. Is, is, Porky, there is a wine weird and a ghost. Is, is the ghost the same one from that room I am? Yes. Mm, okay, well I don't like you, so... um. I can fly! It says. Yep, 22. 
Ow! That hurts! <laughs> That is a very painful attack! Ow! Why would you hit a fat man? Because you tried to possess me and that's just rude. But I thought you needed some more meat on your bones! Did the 14 hit? Yes. 14. Davian is technically no longer feared because the subject of his fear is dead, so he's just gonna... Music is... Far oh, too dramatic for what's happening. But... <laughs> I don't realize how much drama they're actually in. They're treating Hang it on. like Muppets horror show, but it's actually like they could die. All right, the <laughs> the crazy screaming, wailing sound. Like, can I hear that? Yes. Okay. You can't quite make out the words apart from when it went. I can fly. Okay, I'm gonna start making my way there. So can I. Uh, but I'm not gonna be using it. 5, 10. Oh, yeah, and. Effectively, and I'm just going to be rushing as fast as I can to the battle. Two, two, three, four, five, six. Emil's like, I've no fear, Emil's here. I don't know what voice his is now, I forget. <laughs> sure. No <laughs> one's fearing anything. Weren't you afraid? Never mind. The befouled weird, which is a befouled one weird, will once more try to slam twice into Raven. God damn it. Oh, you like me really. It slaps you a couple of times, but you're apparently your amazing charisma is enough to block off its blows. He just flicks his hair and it just all gets swatted away. <laughs> the Arkham, um the Arkham's going to try to use his turn to open this door. He fails again. Casimir. Casimir will walk into the room. Yes, that is what he would do. And now I hmm, I need a more solemn music, I think, Chris, for this. Okay. He place he gets down onto his knees and places his hand upon the skeletal remains of his sister and begins to channel the resurrection spell that he got as his dark gift from which he gave up his vitality. Um, uh, now I need to check that dark gift, actually. Um, uh, uh, I think he doesn't uh, go back to normal until he uses all of them up. He only gets one. Oh, then it should bring him back to one. normal. I think I'm trying to remember. Um, uh, thank you. You're gonna actually show me what I want. I remember. Uh, I'm trying to get it to I'm trying to find the bit of information I need. Yeah. Yes. Um, yeah. So there's no limitation with the time dead. There is no restoring of it for this one. It is a permanent thing because of how powerful it is. Uh -huh. um, the, I'll say at the moment, the flesh begins to slowly reform on the body. You see it starting at like where his hands are and it's slowly beginning to reform, forming into a body. 
for the sake of decency, clothing also forms. But for now, it's just going to take a little while before that happens. Um, Elias. You can obviously see this ghost which just tried to glare at you. You've been just pricked by two poisonous darts. And there is a seemingly a creature made of wine. Uh, I will send my thing over at it. At the ghost or the wine? At the ghost. Okay. Punch the ghost. I will slash uh d20 plus eight for That's a hit. Yeah. Is Both that a hit? hit? Ooh. Ghosts aren't very hard to hit weirdly. I forgot about it. I think it's someone can't spell wiki dirt. Come on, load up. It is uh one d eight plus eight. Well, that first one almost finished it, but with that, you beat this ghost to death. And I'm going to say that from now on, your construct has spectral wings. They don't do anything, it just has spectral wings as a visual. I'm cool with that. Okay, which brings us round to Raven's turn, who has the wine weird. He's going to look over at Porky and ask if he can borrow that urn thing she's got. You're going to trap it inside? No, no. I'm going to offer it a nicer house than the one it was living in. <laughs> Porky like, pulls it out from under the sort of poncho where she's kind of got it tied like through the handle loop kind of thing. So she pulls it out sets it down kind of hesitates because she's kind of like is this going to stop my supply and then she puts it down do you go to touch the weird as um, you um, go to try to coax it in no no he's not going to try yeah. and touch it he's going to just kind of like pop it down yes and it's nicer than the bottle that you were in before Okay, you can roll me a straight animal handling check. I'll allow it this time. Okay. Dusty. This one's quite nice. Yeah! <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it's... It, Congratulations, you've that, a serpent made of wine! That's just set in stone now. <laughs> I don't know how you can get around that. <laughs> <laughs> the wine weird... For that this is what it is begins to meld with the endless it's like the wine. genie of the lamp but like and as it does the outside of the thing seems to become a little more rusted and corrupted almost like it's aged considerably but it does appear to have done it, and I will say that that is where we will end the combat. Rivers you played a whole a new wine jug. You can have all and, the wine jugs you want when we get back. And I will work out how it's that works one. between sessions if someone reminds me. <laughs> there are. I will say there <laughs> are. It isn't going. It. There are going to be some downsides. Oh, probably. Yeah. But with that, you can continue exploring, and I'm going to take the NPCs off of the turn order because they don't need to be on there anymore. Porky, we have a pet! <laughs> she looks overjoyed. <laughs> I'm not cleaning up after it. <laughs> right. Um, Cade. Whilst... Um, Casimir is um, obviously reviving his sister, and you can see this happening. I will say 
that you notice that in this room, um, in the center of the crypt, the skeleton he is slowly restoring um, is surrounded by thousands of coins. What? Where's she at? So, in here, here, in here, there are thousands of coins, Kate. In the door, just like God. Oh, it's okay, Casimir. Everything is, is also, gonna be fine. There is also Everything what appears to be a spell book. <laughs> it's like. Mm -hmm. I feel your pain, buddy. <laughs> and I'm going to tell you um, that there is 250 platinum pieces, 1,100 gold pieces, 2,300 electrum pieces, 5,200 silver pieces, and 8,000 copper pieces. You know what the sad thing is? Once we, like, do Barovia, can't spend any of that because it's all a different minted coin. It's all no, got this first. actually says they are of mixed origin. The platinum oh, really? electrum have Strahd's profile visage stamped on them, but the others do not. <gasps> That's cool. So the gold, the um I don't want to silver. I don't want to rob Casimir's sister's tomb. Right after she's been resurrected. Oh, but sorry, do... sorry. Right before, right after I'm impartial, but <laughs> but right before, maybe yeah. not. Uh, so I will move on to the next room for now. Yeah, I will allow you to do that. That has um... right now. This one, Sir Eric Bonderbucks. Oh, what these are that? so player names. They've got to be. It sounds like the new Bitcoin. <laughs> Would you like Wonder to open it? Uh, I am going to get uh, uh, Ian to break down. Uh, Ian? Fun! Yep. Cool. Ian manages to open this one. What? Um, and and dead. You see, you see a gilded man lying atop a marble slab and gilded. you see a note at the bottom sir eric bonderbox was a wealthy noble whose dying wish was to have his corpse dipped in molten gold you imagine if you peeled off the gold from his desiccated corpse would be worth approximately 500 gold only 500 gold yep it's a lot i like my corpses to be at least a thousand that um, seems from Golden Eye. <laughs> Goldfinger, uh, sorry. Goldfinger. <laughs> right, I will then go to Porky. Not enough carrots for this bun bun. I'm out okay. of here. Okay. Um... <laughs> Goldfinger. Would you like to try to open this one? Is it yeah, because we haven't, we haven't done that one yet. So, yeah. No. Nope. Selenid Crushkin. Selena Crusher. Bigger than life, he loved his jewelry. In fact, imagine how golden crested bone would taste like. <laughs> like <laughs> metal on it. Yeah, I'm gonna I'm open it. Tastes like gold. Yeah, give me that out <laughs> They taste yeehaw. <laughs> Twenty-eight. An, an oversized skeleton, you estimate to likely a half giant. Draped in jewelry and rags, lies atop an elongated marble slab in the centre of the crypt. Lean against the slab is a blood-stained maul, strung with cobwebs. Huh. Cob who? Raven, this seems like a room for you. I'm gonna leave you to it. Three jeweled necklaces are lying across the skeleton, each worth approximately 750 gold. Yeah, I'm not about to pick those up off a dead body, thank you. Aos. I, I don't comment on the one that I've just, the holy symbol I've just stolen from the skeleton. Actually, Would technically you, the skeleton. You want to look at number 23, I'm guessing? Um, I'll come back down to this one, actually. Actually, yeah, we'll no, I'll come back down to Bjarkin, because I was wondering where he went during that fight, and I'm like, oh, there you yeah. are. 
Still yeah, pretty he's, trying, he's trying to open this door. Oh. Yeah, let me help you. And I'll assist him. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> Assistance one of the last times he would have succeeded, but... He fails. Uh, he succeeds quick. on the second try. I think we should quickly mark up the ones that have valuable stuff in just for research purposes. That's what the golden square is for. Oh, is, are we doing okay. that? Manages to open this one. Um, this is obviously Sir Tripolovsky. Um, in the center of this, Sir Clark Tripolovsky. In the center of this crypt, atop a marble slab, human bones lie amid the empty shell of a suit of rough deep plate armor. Flung through the armor's breastplate is a long sword. Okay. <gasps> Magic long sword. Unlikely, but I'll uh, have Bjarkin go pick up that sword. As he does so, a phantom warrior appears, but I am going to say it does not go to attack. Because this is so meet Sir Clutch Tripolovsky, and I'm not joking, that is who this is. He trips over and falls on his side. <laughs> In front um, of him. I feel like there's an actual proper token for this. I swear I've seen this. Yes, there is. But it's just Phantom Warrior, so have they edited the token? They have. So this is Sir Clutch Tripolovsky. Uh, Sir, Sir Trip. What was it? Sir Clutch Tripolovsky. Oh, yes. But you know what that is, right? I just realized. <laughs> that name. Hmm. It's like, you know, you're playing Cobb. You're the your only teammate alive. You get a third clutch Tripolopsky on the enemy team. Oh, Klutz. Oh, okay. It's not yeah. Klutz. Alright, still. Um, Klutz. Cool. Still, anyway. Uh, <laughs> uh, so, this play. is interesting because, because Bjarkin did this and not you something this is going to be weird and it's going to be kind of funny because okay. of how this works um okay so this is room 33 honestly the fact it's room 33 also pleases me uh... he immediately gets down on his knee and thanks um Bjarkin and swears his loyalty to Bjarkin for the next seven days to <laughs> fight alongside him. <gasps> they cross. They cross. I, the I am Sir Clutch Tripolovsky, finest knight, and I swear my loyalty to you for the next seven days, and then I have an appointment. Oh. I. Oh, Bjarkin, you're I, no longer I, a follower. You are I, a leader. I was once one of the noblest knights in Strahd's army. Right, kill him. Was that before he terrorized the land, or after? Strahd terrorized the land? No, he was a fine prince. Okay, it was before his he terrorized the land. Are we going to talk about the fact that he just said he was one of the best knights in the land, yet he still fell on his own sword? <laughs> no, that was, that was the other guy. Exactly. The best knight can only kill the best knight. Reminds me of a Sir Daniel Fortescue. <laughs> so, yep, Bjarkin now has a squire. <laughs> well, I, I hate to inform you, but Cl Sir Clutch, but the prince formerly known as Strahd is. It's Sir Clutch, not Sir Clutch. I please pronounce my name correctly, otherwise I may have to challenge you to a duel for impeaching my honour. Right. And also, who are you? I only listen to the noble chicken man. I'm just informing you that Strahd is no more. What? He, he died. And then came back as a vampire. What? Oh, and is that who you have come to face, mighty Bjarkin? Mighty chicken man, because obviously Bjarkin can't introduce himself. Bork, bork. Ah, fantastic, then I shall fight by your side. Bark. <laughs> all right, he's all yours, Bjarkin. Yeah. Bark. So, 
Oh, I have to add another NPC to your list. God <laughs> damn it, you have so many. <laughs> and this is one I haven't even added. This is this is, all, like... Bjarken, this is Bjarken's favorite ally. <laughs> Fated <laughs> ally, yeah. <laughs> Yeah. Even though our allies have allies. <laughs> yep. <laughs> right. Um, <laughs> Casimir is still focusing on the revival of his sister, and I'm going to say that that will take, won't finish this session, we'll say, because um, Elias. I'm going to open up this door. So many allies. Would you like to open the door in front of you? Yeah. Um, was, I'm going to. I'm gonna in case it activates again. I'm gonna take a couple of steps. Well, broom swoops back and have him open it. Oh god, that made me giggle a bit too much. I've typed so much. Okay. All right. So. In this room, the crypt smells of roses. The remains atop its marble slab have disintegrated except for a single thigh bone. Rip the thigh bone! It does so. A ghostly form appears above the dust, so faint that you can barely discern more, discern more than part of its face. From this apparition comes the faintest of whispers. The vampire must be destroyed. Use me as your weapon. As that, it fades away. I mean, that's what would. No, no, don't. What? Mm. And this is the weapon. Oh. That's a delicacy. <laughs> no! Keeps it away from Kid. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> Throw the dog a bone. It functions as a mace of disruption, but if it hits a vampire, then it will, I will say... Stuff it, happens. Yep, stuff happens. Does it disrupt? You'll find out. Raven. <laughs> would you like to try to summon your pet? Yeah, let's give this a go. Okay. It's like... <laughs> right. Hmm. Like a thief charmer. Okay. Yeah. It has to be like a drunk sea shanty. Do you know any drunk sea, sh sea, sea shanties? I would like... Ooh. a... Mm -hmm. Ooh. There was... <laughs> A constitution <laughs> saving throw. As you try to use it. Oh, what? Sorry? Constitution saving throw as you try okay. to use it. How drunk do you get? <laughs> 13. Oh, you are lucky. That's exactly what you needed to pass. Um, so as you try to um, activate this, those strange things that you see in it, that you saw in the wine, like wine elemental, um, almost sort of flow out and start to crawl on your skin. And these appear to be a form of parasitic amoeba. And it tries to get into your skin and infect you, but you manage, you're able to resist it. <laughs> and as it touches you and like you're resisting this you can feel that it almost seems to be sapping away your intelligence but you manage to um, shake it off you know I could probably put you to very very good use and find you all sorts of people you can sap the intelligence from Okay, we'll shuffle and, sideways uh, a bit further away. <laughs> yeah. It's okay. There's nothing left. And I'm going to say that from now on, <laughs> you just hear a voice of the elemental and they just go, My name is Rover. Rover? Yes. <laughs> I love it. <laughs> Very dog-like name as well. 
named after the Irish Rovers because what should we do with a drunken sailor was originally done by them. Nice. I believe. So. Hello, Rover. It doesn't say anything more. Well, I believe there is only a couple more rooms left, so shall we just Not speed connected. through them? Yep. Sure. It's yeah, my right. turn, it's the end of the yeah. game order! Okay. Can we at least wait yeah, until after my turn? Okay. <laughs> no, I'm Sam will speed through them, but we'll, we'll continue the turn oh, watch. Right? Just we'll speed through them. <laughs> <laughs> okay, right. I will... And he had a lasting effect on it. I will bust okay, this open. So, right. Before you bust it open, I want you to roll me. And. Keep rolling, 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 rolling. A D6. What? what was that? 3D6. Oh, a D6. Two. Like a D6. Like, like a D6. This tomb has Elias' name on it. <laughs> yes, I got my own tomb. Elias, so Kiranor, like and Lumin Benar. Okay. Bard of Law and Lover of Warburton's. <laughs> I was the mascot of Warburton. <laughs> and I think, I think it was the War Burtons. <laughs> I know. <laughs> I know. Would you like to try to open it? Or would you like to leave Elias to his rest? Hell no! <laughs> <laughs> I didn't get no sleep because of y'all. <laughs> no, you don't get no sleep because of me. <laughs> uh, yeah, I bust it open. Okay. I'm. At this point, like you're gonna easily get there in a few things, so I, I won't make you roll anymore for cool. these to open them unless there's something like special about it. So, opening the crypt releases a horrid stench of decay and reveals a corpse lying on the marble slab within. A corpse with red hair and a slight smile on the face. It appears to be Elias's corpse. Someone did a lie. Well, it wasn't us. That could be anyone's red hair. <laughs> Would you like to inspect the corpse? Uh, of course. Sure. Of course. <laughs> Touching the corpse caused it to melt away, whereupon the inscription on the door fades. However, on the bones... Once more, as you once found in the woods, you find that the head is etched with, the skull of it is etched with Elias's initials, the calling card of a certain assassin, and there is also the mark of a hand axe on it. Okay. I quickly look around. Is anybody watching? You don't see anyone. Start crushing the bones. <laughs> right, Forky. Yeah. It's your turn. There is, I believe, one, two, three, four, five, six more rooms to check. But none mm. of them right near you. Okay, um. I'm going to start just sort of walking to kind of gather the others. Everyone's kind of scattered at this point, so she's going to kind of yeah. go in a direction and start maybe herding people um, yeah, um, until I get to like the nearest door. Okay, so the nearest door to you that hasn't been <clears throat> opened is probably this one. Okay. I'm going to sort of herd people as I go. I'll just sort of have the NPCs in hell with sort of join you. Oh no, there's a thing in the way. Oh, I thought they're round. Dang it. Sorry. Here we go. Yeah. Okay, so number 28. Baskel Offenheim, Chef Deluxe. 
It means nothing to me. I'll break down the door. He's a chef. <laughs> but, yep. Yeah. Um, roll me an athletics. Mm, yeah. Okay, you easily open the door. A skeleton draped in white linen lies atop the marble slab. The marble slab, <laughs> which is shaped much like a giant block of cheese. Uh, it is clutching a bell to its sunken chest and pitched over its skull is a tall chef's hat. It has a chef's hat. Yes. It is a chef deluxe, after all. Would you like a chef's hat? I kind of do. Would you like to take the hat? I would. Okay. Tucked under the chef's hat is an electrum spork with a bejeweled handle. Ooh. Spork? <laughs> I'm not joking. Bejeweled? It's worth 250 gold pieces. I'm going to take that. It is also holding a bell. Spark. I will take that too. Okay. When Run you say death. bell, when you say bell, what kind of bell is it? Like a bell that you would ring to, like, um, summon someone for dinner, sort of thing. Okay. And you wanted a what? A deck save as you touch that. Well, but I get advantage because I have gained a thing. Yep. <laughs> the advantage helped. But, um... Why'd you fail with the 22? I fail with a natural 20. This. You'll take half of this. Um, 23 damage as fire sweeps through the room. Um, does it melt the cheese? Does well, indeed melt the cheese. I'm there. Uh, yep. <laughs> and smell also the melt. turns the bones to mush, Ooh. and which mixes in with the cheese. But is the bell still intact? Yes. Why not? Cool. It's a baby um, bell. So I've got the bell. The, oh, the spork. Bell. I'm going to quickly slip into my poncho because I'm keeping that. Um. And then the chef's hat, um, I'm going to kind of leave and sort of run over to Raven and go, oh, I've got your present, and just stick it on his head. I like yeah. hats, right? Depends on the hat. You don't like it? I'm not really much of a chef. Hey, I'm going to snatch it off his head and storm off. <laughs> Ungrateful. <laughs> Okay, you're going to one of the other interesting... Uh, no, no, actually, let's go systematic. Do this one here. King Dostran the Hellborn. Okay. Sounds ominous. Give me a hand here, Bjorken. I am going I'm going to move Porky to be able to view this one, because I know Porky will like what's inside. More wine. What's this stuff? So, I'll have Porky help you instead. Why not? Okay. Okay. 17. So just, yeah. Resting in the center of this crypt is a seven foot long gilded sarcophagus, lid painted with the likeness of a screaming king wearing a crown of horns. Looming behind the sarcophagus is a stuffed owlbear frozen in a wall with claws outstretched. Oh. Can I take the owlbear? <laughs> I mean, it, it's a full-sized owlbear, but you can That's try. That's not going to stop, Porky. Uh, uh, I literally want to go over and try to lift the owlbear. Come to life. <laughs> full-sized Capri. It is a full-sized out there, so you could probably lift it because you're porky and you're super strong, but you probably won't be able to get it out of the room. Would any of you like to investigate the sarcophagus? Uh, no. yeah. As you go to look at it, a voice speaks out. I wouldn't do that if I were you. Oh, no. And who are you? I'm the guardian of this sarcophagus of King Dostra the Hellborn. <laughs> Was he literally born from hell? 
Yes, if you open that thing, then you unleash a pit fiend bound within. I'm going to roll an inside check. Porky will just hug the elbow. Is that believable? A pit fiend? Really? A pit fiend's what? more powerful than Strahd. Why would he keep something like something so hellish in here? Yeah, it seems to start to... Because, um... It wasn't trapped by Strahd, it was trapped by his ancestors. Yes. Yes. It's an imp, isn't it? No, I'm an imp. Oh. <laughs> then it's... Something slightly more powerful than an imp. Fine, fine. It's, um... <laughs> I'll tell the truth. I'll tell the truth. Um, it's a um, it's a horned devil. Does he seem to like? Do, do they seem to be telling the truth? Well, me another inside check. Another inside. It's lying again. <laughs> I just laughed. Oh. oh. Oh no, it's so dangerous. But fine, fine, I'll tell the truth. It's not that the devil is trapped in there. It's just if you open it, it works like a summoning spell, and that's what makes it appear. You caught me in the lie, you made me think that... Because there's actually some really good treasure inside, but uh, it's not worth the risk. I think I've heard enough of your lies. Little devil... Well, then why don't you open it? Perhaps you'll meet the missus and have a nice cup of tea. The missus? But you said this was a lord, a king. I see Wait. what you did there. <laughs> yes, but that doesn't mean he may have been buried with his wife. How do you know? You don't know what this king was buried with. What, like, buried on top? What? Oh, wait, so this, this is a matter of decency? You don't want me to open it because they're in an embarrassing state right now? Yes, that's exactly it. That's, that's not it, is it? A sacred flame, the imp. <laughs> I've had enough I've of this. Seen the imp. Oh, really? Okay. It, it's just yeah. a voice coming out of nowhere. It sure. just sort of, it just sort of goes... You know what? You've obviously you've kind of guessed that I'm lying through my false teeth, which I don't have. I've got someone else's. Um, don't mind me. Um, don't ask about that. Um, I can't let you open it. I'm not going to stop you opening it, but I don't want you to open it because I I'm on the contract. I see. So there is some sort of devilish contract here. Hmm. Yep, I've got to watch over this for approximately 300, no, exactly 342 years, 8 days, 3 hours, 42 minutes, and at this point, 16 seconds. I see. Um, physically watch over it? Because I don't see you anywhere. Oh, I, I'm here. I'm just in. I... I'm, um, I'm possessing this owlbear. Irene is currently, like, hugging this owlbear. It, you're way. invisible, is what, you're invisible is what you're saying. I, I'm Irina. surprised you haven't died to my spirit mm -hmm. guardian. Irina, um, you knew what I'm I, 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 I'm above your spirit guardians. Oh, you're in one of the corners. Maybe. <laughs> I'm, like, looking through every one of his lies. <laughs> All right. Guess we can't open it then. If the little uh, if, if you really want some treasure from this room, and you want to spend the time, you can prize the gold off the sarcophagus. How much is that worth? About five hundred gold, but it weigh about ten pounds. I think that's the first truth you've said all day. Well, um. As it happens, I'm not interested in gold. But if there is a treasure that could help me defeat Strahd, that might help. Ow! That you, want, you 
You want to look in um, 231 for that. All right. I, I just can't kind of think. Have I been through 31 yet? Yes, that's the one where you saw the mountains of gold coins. All right. Okay. Well, at or, least... Um... Or... Hmm... If the room to the south of here might have something of interest. I look down. Interest. By interest, you mean of interest to me or of interest to you? Because um, you're aligned with an imp. Um, hmm. I think it'd be interesting to both of us. It's Strahd, isn't it? <laughs> No, oh, Strahd wouldn't be in there. He's in. He, he, if he was anywhere, he'd be in that big room to the south, like the big one. The big the yeah. yeah. Okay. What do you reckon, Porky? And if, and if you want to get there and avoid the teleportation thing, if you go into um, there's a room with some alcoves, and if you go through the easternmost one, it will take you into Strahd's tomb. And then one of the alcoves in there will bring you back out. I turn to Porky and I say, what do you reckon? I was going to kill this little lying agent of evil, but he's actually been quite helpful. Have I been able well, to hear the imp? Yes. Okay. There's always room for imp improvement. <laughs> I should kill him again. No, that's it. You are so slow. Read the chat. <laughs> Never. Possible. <laughs> All right. Um. Anyway. Um. I'm gonna. Uh, if you wouldn't mind closing the door when you leave, that'd be nice. I'm gonna brew up a nice cup of tea. Maybe see if I can call the missus. You know. Your master, an evil being. Um, Would he seek to do harm to others? Um, uh, More allies. Well, I mean, they're an archduke of hell, so depends. Is there anything like on the sarcophagus in terms I, of like, I call them kill. And things like that that might no, um, just a screaming man. And obviously, you saw the name was someone Hellborn, but that's all you know. Mm. Should we let this thing live, or? Well, I mean, if you kill me, I just go back to hell, and then I'll have to come back eventually. It'll be a hundred years, and I can't care about my contract. It's just going to be a lot of paperwork. Please don't let me do the paperwork. I don't want to do the paperwork. If anything, contract sounds actually... like a bit of a con man. I, I wouldn't worry. He's probably harmless. The, 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 the imp can make me a persuasion check. The contract devils are such pricks. Especially that glory. I don't like him. I'll, I'll let the imp make a persuasion check. DC 14. Alright. <laughs> Do you have a... Nope. Hmm. <laughs> Please. Please. Um, <laughs> you know, um, um, I realise I'm not being very persuasive. Let me think. Um, um, I'm afraid you are evil. Like, as much as you are trying to persuade me, I cannot allow your um, master and yourself to do bad things, you must understand. But, well, killing, I'm not going to do bad things. I only, I'm a lesser demon, I lesser devil. I only do contra simple contracts. Right, but then what, to what end exactly? Well, um, this guy promised his soul if we watched his body. Well, he sort of made a deal with my boss Phil and Phil um you know from it gave him some power and then in exchange we had to See, watch his call for a while. 
while and then he got to join us in hell. That one over there should know. They've made deals with something like a devil. Points See, that's a, kind of a bit shady to me, trading souls and stuff. Well, then you should kill that one behind you. They've 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 offered their soul up. I can see a contract. Not pulling up a mace. Uh, no. <laughs> we can try. <laughs> I think we've established at this point that Porky is not evil anymore. Well, no, but I'm made... pretty. I'm pretty impartial to all of this, so. But, but what? What if I give you one other bit of advice that may help you? All right. Right. Um. So room thirty-five, which I know you've gone and looked at before. It's uh, this one over here. Sort of just indicates there. Oh yeah. Um, yeah. So that one looks like it's empty. It's not. But don't go into that room. The floor isn't real. It's empty, but it's not. Okay, right. The What's floor that is... Well, um... Sir John, Sir John Ward, basically, um, he died from falling in a pit. And so he was buried in a pit. And at the bottom of it are six ghouls. Oh, lovely. Okay. You know what? You've done uh, more good. There is a silence spell on it as well. Understood. How far down are they? Um, uh, 20 feet, I think. Might be 22, 21. It's around 20 feet. Might be slightly less, might be slightly more. You've done more good here than harm, so I'll say I'll leave you be for now. Thank you. Could you close the door on your way out? It gets cold. <laughs> I'll close the door. Thank you. And I'll start heading over to yeah. the area we so, came. Yeah, so you did open this, and if you sort of touch the floor, your hand goes straight through it. Mm. Okay. And I'm, fortunately, my spirit guardians don't reach down. Yeah, if you put your head down, you can see six snarling ghouls, but you can't hear them because of the silence. So they look like they're scrambling to get up. Can they climb? Yes, but they don't seem to be able to climb. They're not climbing ghouls. Okay. Okay. Step out the silence. <clears throat> and I'll say, could you hold the other end of this rope? As you see, Aos is tying it to her waist. Would Corky do so? Please? Why? I'm going to kill some ghouls. Why? XP. And I'll <laughs> jump back down the hole. Uh, I'm not holding the rope at this point. <laughs> I'll tie it to you then. The Arkin will hold the rope. Right. I'd rather have Porky. Sorry, Bjarkin. I saw you struggling with those doors. Aww. Wait, Plus, we... how, how dare you smudge the noble chicken man? <laughs> I should smite thee where thy stand. I was simply saying I should not ask Bjarkin to do it because he is no longer a follower. He is now a leader in of himself. That is chicken. better. <laughs> ah, then we should it's allow them. So this Porky here is one of the Chicken Man's noble squires. Of course they should help. Excuse you? I saved the chicken's <laughs> life. Oh, then he owes you a life debt, and that is why he de deems worthy to travel with you. I walk away. <laughs> oh, Porky, come back. <sighs> Fine, I'll do this the hard way. 50 foot of rope. <laughs> um, yeah. I've got pittons still. I'll hammer some pittons in. Get in my climbing harness and do this by myself. <laughs> and I'll lower myself down five foot. That's yep. it. And I'll just let okay. the top of the 
Spirit Guardians yeah, just destroy roll me, their hit. I'll roll me the damage and we'll just see how many turns this takes to see okay. if they get a chance to do anything. Okay. I hate the Spirit Guardians so much at it, some point. We might be coming to an end after this. So. Yeah, 20. Cool, that might be enough. So let me roll some. If these fail, it will be enough. Otherwise, they will get a turn of trying to do something. Two of them succeed. Okay. Okay. The remain the remaining two will scramble up on each other's shoulders. No, we'll just sort of try to leap up you and make them roll a strength check to see if they can get to you. By the way, but if we Oh no, never mind, half an hour until we finish. Probably not a good time for a break. <laughs> yeah. The, se the first one can't, the second one leaps up on its friend's shoulders and tries to claw you, but misses, and then they die. And then they die. <laughs> <laughs> <clears throat> Climb back up. Oh, actually, before I do, I will check at the bottom of the pit and have a look around. Okay, so at the bottom of this pit, and I realise we didn't have a break, I do apologise. Um, it's fine. Uh, no, let me see if I can check it. No, it's fine. Room is 35, I think it said. Um, a few scraps of clothing, a handful of teeth, and a signet ring that bears a stylized letter J. I shall take them. Okay. Yeah. Come back up. And I'll reconvene with the others at this point. Okay. Would you like to search Read the it. last one, two, three, four, five rooms, or would you like to? Um... Let's give Hellwear one because I don't think he he would have at least done something, right? Yeah, he would do, but at the same time, I don't want to do his interactions, so just do it between you guys. Hellwear's having a chill. Oh, so we just find him pushing on a door, unable to open it. Yeah. Okay. So would uh, is. Yeah, would, why is Casimir on this turn? Order? Go away, Casimir. Elias, it's your turn. Oh, okay. So, I, oh, that's not what I meant to do. So many lines everywhere. I'm gonna be coming down here. Is Raven actually there? Yes, and that one's been opened, I'm pretty sure. Yeah. I'm walking past here and I see the giant. And I'm like, so good looking. And I go in and paint a moustache on his on him. And the moustache becomes real. Good use of the paints. <laughs> yeah. And I have And I'm gonna have the um the that that mall by the way, did it look good in any way? The what? Apparently the giant was holding a mall. It's blood covered. Does it look like a normal mall or? Roll me an arcana check. Because I'm tempted to have this guy grab it. It is a completely 100% fully functional mall that has 100% no magic. I gave him a mustache. That's what matters. Yeah, I'm going to bring my ass down to the rest of them. If I'm allowed to, I'll open a door. If not, I'll just yeah, chill. Yeah, I will. Um, and I will recommend, if you want to open a door that will potentially be of fun and interest to you or look at a door, I would recommend this one. Sure. <laughs> a DM. No, not suspicious in the slightest. The game recommend. Ah. Do my thing, Cephalus, on. the wonder horse, may the flowers grow ever brighter where he trods. The door to this crypt is larger than the other, six foot wide by eight foot tall. Trod kept a, a horse in his tomb? It's his horse. His horse. His nightmare. It's Bucephalus, it's his horse. What can we... Huh? Sex. 
<laughs> Take another step back. Guys? Yes? I know some of these tombs have been quite jokey, but how many of them have been very realistic? Well, there's been real spirits. I found what? your skull in one of them. Cool! Is that the t is that like when you were saying that you saw people's heads decapitated in Argenvost? It's probably an illusion. I found a hat, Mugs Paul the Chef hat. Yeah. Anyway, supposedly this one has Strad's nightmare in it. Uh and apparently, the... apparently something is useful to us in this one, Mug. Just at 31. Yeah, let's leave this one till last, and I'll go to... I'm gonna go to the one behind instead. <laughs> but, okay. Maybe that would imply that he comes down here often. So I'm, I'm going to put a big square on this Hansel one. Castle Eris, last of the line. Yeah, same as before. Smash my. Oh, I've got to. I can't go all the way back up in chat. Uh, D20. Wait, okay. have we got free movement now? Yeah, essentially, I'm just doing it on okay. um, people's turns, basically, just so people, everyone gets a chance. You bust open this one, and once more, to everyone's shock and surprise, you find a skeleton draped in rags lying atop a marble slab in the center of the crypt. Just to be different, it's actually 10 centimeters off the center of the crypt. It seems the builders were slightly lazy. Mm. Mounted on the northeast south walls are three unlit torches in iron brackets. On the northeast south walls? Yep, northeast and south walls. Oh, no, oh. northeast and south. Not the yeah, northeast. The south. Would you like to enter the tomb of Tadsil Eris, last of the line? Then there's nothing in there? There's a skeleton and there's some torches. I would like to investigate. What, investigate the room? Yeah. As you investigate, as you enter the room, the torches burst into flames. But nothing else happens. Is that it? Roll me an investigation check if you like. There's, I'm guessing there's nothing in here then, but sure. You find that the skull and bones of this skeleton are not in actually skull and bones. They are actually just plaster facsimiles. Kid, I also found your skull. What? It's made of plastic. Raven. Would you like to look in under the tomb? Um. <laughs> there is the There's back and forth. Left. Oh, this one as well. Okay. Um... I don't know. <laughs> so... <laughs> there we go. Okay, Ooh. you going for the far one or are you going for the one you're next to? The one I'm next to. Okay, just thought I'd confirm, just in case, because I know the movement would be a bit laggy and stuff. Stefan Gorovich, first counselor to King Barrow von Zarovich. And you hear the voice in your head, Oh, I remember him. Is it worth me opening this one, or should I just... I remember him being a very chatty person. I reckon if you could um, cast Speak With Dead... Then, then. <laughs> um, in tree sickfully, he spurned wealth for the knowledge he could take to heaven. Mm. That sounds like someone who might make my head hurt. Um... I think I'll probably leave it there, but yeah, he'll be just like, nope. Okay. Nope. Okay. Cade? I think it's just this one and this one left. Cool. And of course, the one that's supposed to be Severus. 
yes. I should go. I will go up to this one with Baron Eyes Glaive Dwarf. Woof. I bop the door. Okay. Roll me that. Yeah, I'm just going to say you open it. Ooh, this is actually an interesting one. Um, opening the door causes the air around you to turn as cold as the coldest hell you can imagine. Every surface inside the crypt is covered with thick brownish mold. And um, I would like a constitution saving throw from you. 27. Okay, you, make, you make the save. 20... So you take half Eight. this damage. You take no, 29. 17 halved, which is 9 halved, which is 5. As this chills. Now, I will say, roll me a perception check. A perception? Gotcha. A perception. Five. Mm. Is Ian assisting me? Yeah, let's. I'll let you assist. Ian turns That's his back to you. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna. It kind of makes I'm sense. Gonna, I'm, I'm gonna have Hellwear also roll because I'll oh, I will say um he has blind sight. Yes, but not necessarily that we need it for this. I'm gonna give Hellwear. Advantage on this roll as well. Let's see what happens. Okay, hell we're noticed it. So, buried underneath the brown mold, which will take some going, is a sword that hell we can see. It has three gemstones in the hilt, two, two of which are dull and one of which has a slight glow to it. I'll pick Wish it up. You would need to dig through the brown mold. I dig. won't. I will get Ian to grab it. Dig, yeah. dig, dig, dig. Okay, so dig, dig. Um, I'm gonna have. Um, you know what? Actually, this will be interesting. Sword would recognize sword. Oh! Well, you're quite lucky to find that one. Why does every sword in this goddamn no. campaign no. talk? No, <laughs> no. It, this is your sword explaining what happened. Okay, I'm just checking. But, but it doesn't tell you exactly what it is. It okay, says... Sorry. Oh, I'm disappointed you're, now. You're quite lucky to find that one. Oh? How so? I unsheathed it a little bit more. <laughs> right. Would anyone like to explain what I mean by he's quite lucky to find this? Oh, 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 which is possibly oh. the most broken weapon we've found in this campaign so far. I will say it only has one charge. Wait, so let's take a look. Uh, if this is on your person, you can call on this one <gasps> to reroll one of these. Uh, oh, wow. Uh, what? You're going to be using it to reroll initiative, that's all right. Yes! Okay, it's going to be dual wielding. <laughs> uh, it requires attunement. Yeah, but look at that secondary effect, though, that it can mm -hmm. do. You've only got one charge of it. A one ninth level spell. <laughs> yep. A wish can replicate the effects of any spell. Our wish stroke would be dead. <laughs> no, 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 you won't. He's already dead. already dead. That's a terrible wish. Use the words funny. <laughs> Wait, I, I wish I that wish Stroud, Stroud no longer exists. I wish Stroud would be alive so I can kill him again. <laughs> if Stroud didn't All exist, right. we'd probably cease to exist because Stroud actually helped this land when he was alive. Wish that Stroud's uh, alignment was now good. I wish Strahd could be a baker. And it would become that horrible town which was always happy and forcing happiness. Happy is not good. It's not the same thing. Right. Yeah, but you could be happy people. and be a really bad person. 
people have good intentions all the time and still have bad effects. I right. wish Aos could decide yeah. on what to have for dinner tonight. <gasps> I wish Strad was powerless. I will say, because I want to wrap this up. Um, okay. Start the campaign. <laughs> that it no. happens. Yes, you win. No. <laughs> Hang on. No. I. I would you like to explore the room that supposedly has something useful in it? Well, um, we still got three more rooms. I was actually, I was actually going to end it with opening this one, Bucellas. Bucephalies. Bucephalies, yeah. Am I sure? I'm going, yeah. to, I'm, I'm going to recommend that you open the other one first. <laughs> <laughs> I, want to, I want to go for the one that we, like, I heard the imp terror is saying there's something useful in here because that's what Porky would do. Okay. So I think we have oh, opened this one, by the way. This yeah, is the she, one. Porky oh, hasn't you, seen you uh, open it. She was the other yeah, one. Yeah, so Porky, do you want to go and look in that one? I do. I will say, roll me a dexterity save immediately as you go into that room. Advantage! Oh, I recommend you go into my trap, everyone. Oh, wow. No, it, no, it's fine. You drop... <laughs> um... Uh, well, actually, it splits down the middle, east to west. Um, you fall down the pit. Uh, the spike. Uh, there are spikes in the bottom of the pit, unfortunately. But <laughs> I'm allow there, there is a reason for this. I'm going to allow you to. Um, I'm going to say you don't take the damage from this because you land on a book. Oh, the and book as is good for something. And as you land on this book, a surge of intelligence and knowledge spreads through all of you. You have found the last remaining cards that you need. This is... Which, of course, you'll have to climb out and help. But the reason I recommended this, and there is a good reason for this is that because you have found one of the cards, you have also successfully leveled up. And that is where we'll end the session. Yay! What? <laughs> Level! Smart. What are we up to now? <laughs> Level! 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 Level? Mm-hmm. I'm allowing what? this to go slightly higher because I've done some homebrew stuff. Oh, no. Oh, no. That doesn't bode well for the strat fight. And because of those six ghouls, right? Oh, that was part of that. We like nearly tipped it, and then we got the last. Sure. So and without will... Yes. So, Porky, I will say somehow you are able to read the title, and this is the Tome of Strahd, written by Strahd himself. Yeah, the biography. <laughs> she reads it as the Tomb of Strahd. <laughs> <laughs> no, actually, you read it as the Tomb of Strahd. By Strahd. <laughs> the Tamil Strahd is even more egotistical than I am. Dear diary! But, but I will say that the top of this, snap, the top of the thing does snap shut as you've fallen in there. So you are uh, trapped, apparently. I do have that. I, and my, I just ignite my poncho and just sit to kind of read this yeah. book. Finds but another that, book that's to you of Strahd. <laughs> to but that, you. it is... Where we will end tonight's session. Thank you, everyone, for watching. Stick around for the last resort company up in about 15 minutes. Um, also, join us Friday for Rolf Story the Clawed Coast, where we hopefully all get safely into Gaidia and can continue that side of things. And join us Sunday for the Witch Hunters, where we're about to face or deal with something absolutely horrible and we've been dealing with underwater movements and rules and stuff and it's i hate having a low con but for now <laughs> good night sleep tight and don't let the wolf spider bite why did you have to do that?